The Belly Dancer was a talent competition show through which dozens from 10 countries compete for the title Best Belly Dancer in the World. This was the first episode of the reality show and the last. After conservatives in Egypt blacklisted the show, the television channel hosting it said it will delay the broadcast without specifying when. They were not dancing, it was more of sexual seduction. So to help with the show, the hosts only care about making money and becoming famous. They don't care about the art of dancing. In Islam, a woman should cover her entire body, exposing only her face and hands. So for conservatives, belly dancing wardrobe are much too revealing, particularly for a non-rated TV show. Religiously, of course it's wrong. And socially, the show will increase harassment cases that are already increasing daily. But the concept of having dancing schools or competition is good. Dancing releases negative energy and improves your mood, but not on television. On TV, dancers will exaggerate their moves to attract audience. The pressure increased after religious authorities like Al-Azhar, the biggest Islamic university in the world, resented the show. But more so when Dar al ifta said the show is, quote, corrupting moral values. Dar al ifta is the flagship for Islamic legal research. It's the official body in Egypt that is authorized to declare whether an issue abides to the teaching of moderate Islam or not. And it ordered that that show would be stopped immediately. Its opinions are non-binding, yet it remains an influential body that affects public opinion in religious matters. It has previously played a role in banning an Arabic movie said to have exaggerated sexual content and prevented Hollywood's Noah that depicts the story of a religious prophet. We are calling for more influence for Dar al Ifta. Its role is to preserve the morals of the society. Many Egyptians don't mind that Dar al Ifta would interfere if it sees a threat to the public morals or the Islamic identity. Some even go further, asking that it will have a binding role rather than just being an advisor. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.